So we're at the midpoint in our project, and what we wanted to do is discuss our favorite historical figure that we've um, gone over so far. And for me personally, it would be James Weldon Johnson. And the reason for that is because how diverse he was when influencing the Harlem Renaissance. He not only was a Broadway writer, but he also really helped Theodore, uh, Theodore Roosevelt with his presidential campaign, which that's really cool. And then he also went to other countries and did work there as well. And then he came back, even wrote more poems and more and more pieces of work with that. So he just just in how many areas he influenced the Harlem Renaissance really stands out to me. So that's why he's my favorite. So um, my, the person that stood out to me was Aaliyah Walker, um, just because she kind of draws a lot of comparisons to Lila May, in my opinion, from the the Intuitionist. Like Lila May is, as we all know, is was the first black female uh, elevator inspector, and Aaliyah Walker, as we showed, was the first self-made black woman millionaire in America. So she was breaking down these barriers and walls, just like how Lila May did. And at the same time, she was also, you know, being, she wasn't expected to succeed at, at like the way she did. You know, Lila May had all these people telling her that she was the worst, that she shouldn't do it, that she shouldn't be doing this kind of work. And she still fought through all this to become a great elevator inspector. And just like Aaliyah Walker, who had to go through a bunch of a bunch of uh, hardships too, she still, in the end, became a millionaire out of it. 